So I'll be solving um, insert delete get random and for this I think the remove logic is the most difficult but don't worry so we'll be using two different data structures and we'll be using a list to contain our elements that are incoming like one two three if it's insert one two three our list will contain one two three and for our map we'll use a map to store this values as our keys so one two three and the index of those values accordingly so if one comes first the index would be zero and so forth and what if we have a remove two well remove three is easy we can just do list or remove list or size minus one and we can find the key so if map dot get value that will be the key and we can just remove this thing but what if it's in the middle well if it's in the middle what we have to do is we kind of want to overwrite this value the uh, element that we want to remove here so we get the last element and override it so it becomes three and as usual uh, once the if filter finishes, then we just do list or remove the last element. And that's how we remove that. So we want to override it. And for the map, um, we want to store the um, last value as the key and that index, which is one. And same thing when the if filter finishes we'll get the um value and this remove this is removed okay so let's see if it makes sense um i'll be um creating a instance variable because it's in the class level uh, let's create a list of integer list and a map of integer integer map and list equals new array list map equals new hash map let's do the remove first because it's harder than insert well, if we want to check first if map contains this value or not, so we do a boolean check, and if it doesn't contain it, so if it's false, then we return false because we cannot remove an, a non-existent value. But if it does exist, first we want to get the index of that value. So index one is. Mm, list dot get value no sorry map that's how we get the value right uh, the index because we pass in the key and then we get the index and if index if it's in the middle that index would be less than list dot size minus one so this is the if filter well that if that happens well as i've said we want to override this so first we get the last element so int last integer is map uh, list dot get the last element so list dot size minus one and once you've gotten that last element we use this method called list dot set and we pass in the index and the value so we want to this is like overriding it so if we do list.set index one here with the last integer, then it becomes like one three three. And once fil once this filter finishes, we can just do list or remove list dot size minus one, and this last element would be removed. So we got one and three. But for map, um. We want to do map.put 
the um, last integer, so three, and that index here, like this. And same as usual, we want to remove this value two because we want to remove value two. So first we get, we pass in this value. Okay, that was that would give us the index of this, and we do a map dot remove. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, we can just do map dot remove value because hash maps map dot remove. We we just pass in the value of index. And since um index um what was this? Oh, yeah, int value two would be removing the um index, so we can just do map dot remove value. Okay. And for insert, it's pretty easy. We do this boolean check again. But this time, if it does indeed contain this value, then we would we don't want to insert it over again. So let's dot add value. Oh, sorry. First, we want to put it in our map first because we want to do a zero index. So we put the value and list dot size, which which would be zero at the start. And then we add the value because if we do this before, then the index would be one. Return true. And here, same here, um, return true. And get random, well, we can just do. Um, oh, by the way, we used. Um, we're going to use a library called java.util.random. And everything in Java is an object, right? So we have to initiate, uh, instantiate this new Java dot dot random return, and we want to get a random index of rand dot next int, and we pass in list dot size. So this would give a random integer from zero up to list dot size minus one. This is exclusive, and we get that random index. So, okay, that works. Submit. Okay, that works as well. So I hope you guys understood a bit and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!